In today's video, I'm going to look at a little module I got from IC Station. This is a one minute to 24 hour digital countdown timer for timing lights or timing your stereo or whatever you want to turn off after a specified time. Let's take a look at it. So today it's time for another demo of a little module that I got from IC Station. This one here is a digital countdown timer which can operate anywhere from 1 to 60 minutes and 1 to 24 hours. And basically, if we take a look at this module, this is the first time I've seen it, it'll handle up to uh, 20 amps, it says, 20 amps at 125 volts, and 20 amps at 14 volts DC. This is the relay handling current here. If we just zoom in a bit on the camera here. Okay. So what we have here is we just have a single, a two-digit display, a single button to control it. And on the bottom here, we have a relay. And you'll notice that there is a cut in the board here to isolate the relay contacts from the low voltage sides, as you can see. Here, relay contacts are these two here. And they go to the output. And as you can see, there's a cut between the, in the circuit board between the terminals so that there's no chance of arc over and here's the relay contacts and here's your low voltage side over here so let's get some isolation between the the low voltage control side and the output what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to connect it up and we're going to test it out and see how it works so what I've got for this I've got my I'm going to use I'm going to control a light bulb so I'm going to control a 60 watt light bulb. So I'm just going to dress my wires here. And we'll trim this down a bit so that I don't have to worry about excessively long wires causing a short circuit. So on the relay side, I'm going to put one wire going in like that. And I'm going to take the other side of that wire and I'm going to just connect that up to my light bulb socket. So here's my light bulb socket. We'll connect that. To one terminal of the light bulb socket. And the neutral, I'm going to connect to here. I'm just going to put a Moret on here for safety. There we go. So now our 120 volt, with the exception of the back side of this, so for for safety's sake, because I am going to be handling this thing when it's powered up, I'll put a piece of tape across the bottom of the board here just to insulate any areas of the board that can have voltage on it. It has to keep the safety police off my case. Even though personally I don't need this type of safety as I am an electrician, so I do know how to handle uh, devices that have power. And uh, but for for the for the safety sake, I'll put a strip of tape. Now I just need to get my 12 volt power supply ready. So 12 volts positive. And ground. Now I'll plug in the power cord for both the adapter and the light bulb output. So I'm going to plug in power and for this occasion we'll put a, a classic light bulb in here. One of my vintage incandescents. I love these bulbs. I run them all over the place in my house. I've got some that are unusual shapes. I've got some that uh, look like uh, they're, well, they're, they're, about, they're about that big. 
It looks like a, they're all handmade. They look like a diamond, but uh, I have them hanging over a countertop running on a dimmer and they look just look so cool. Okay, when I power this unit up, it should turn the relay on immediately. Which it, uh, oh, might help if I turn on the right switch. Okay. Now, I just have to figure out how to set this thing. If I press the button here. Okay, that's the t okay, that's the time here. If I press and hold, it should tell me Okay, F2 is for hours, F1 is for minutes. So it's set for one minute now. Now, does this turn on after a minute? There we go, now it's on. Okay, <clears throat> so once it's set, the light will come on, the relay is energized, and in one minute, this will go off. And that's really how simple this little unit is. Great little unit if you you know you need to say set lights like for example holiday lights for example you could have them set it turn it on set it for however many minutes or however many hours you want and it would turn off or if you needed to control a valve like for a sprinkler you could set it for so many hours or so many minutes of, of watering your lawn and then when the when the time is up the relay contact will open and the power will shut off. That's it. It's as simple as that to set it for up. You can set it for, I think it goes up to 60 minutes. So if I press it, if I, every time I press the button, it will increase by one minute. Well, then it goes by five minutes. Okay. And then AA, I think that's always on. If I leave it in AA, it will turn on and it will just stay there. <clears throat> so you can bypass it. And then if you press the button again, it'll go off. And now it's set for one minute. So it can go up, it goes up to 10 and then it starts going by five minute increments up to 60. And if I want to change it to hours, I just press and hold the button for three seconds and it'll say F1, which is minute count, F2 is hours. So now it'll start out at zero hours. Once that display goes off, now it's one hour, two hours, three hours, etc., up to 24 hours. And then back to always on. So if you want to um, have, say, you need to leave your lights on for four hours because you're you're going out and you don't want your lights to stay on, or you know, you can set this for doesn't matter because I'm not going to leave the light run for that long. But you know, if you set it for three hours, after the time uh, it elapses for setting, the relay will turn on, and now it'll stay on for three hours. And after three hours, it will shut off. To cancel it, I think you just press the button and that will cancel it. And if I want to go back to minute mode, I just press and hold. And then get back to F1. F1 is for minute setting. That's pretty much it. Link to the little light, or link to this module is uh, in the video. See, there's not, uh, not much to see on this other than how to hook it up. It'll run on, I think it's five to 18 volts if I remember reading what was on the uh, well it'll be in the description anyway I think it's 5 to 18 volts for the input and then the output is just an isolated relay contact yes you could use it you could control 12 volts by just taking your positive through the relay and then control something that was on 12 volts so if you were say running a radio for example and you wanted to have music playing for so long and then have it shut off you could feed your 12 volt source from that or use a plug and just turn off the AC. It'll handle up to, well, the, the relay says 20 amps. The board's rated at 10, so I'm going to say 10 amps, but the relay in here is rated for 20 amps. That's uh, pretty much all there is to say about this one. It's a countdown timer, available from IC Station at the link. Thanks for watching.